I guess the wonderful thing is you can determine your own destiny, being your own boss. That was the main reason we, we started a business, to have freedom, like to have that time to spend with our kids and all these things. Before International Foods came about, I was a primary school teacher. Yeah, I was a teacher as well um, for five years. And I have had businesses in the past, but when I came to New Zealand 20 years ago, it was really just out of university, so I hadn't had a real job or anything. Me and Lee were just thinking, you know, um, how can we create an extra income? Because Lee wanted to stay home. And I saw this ad in the paper one day, and it said something about vending machine seminar. So I went to it, just sort of as, you know, see what it's all about. So I started doing it, and we built it up, and then we decided we'll turn it into a franchise. So we set it up all over New Zealand, and, you know, it was challenging because we had never been franchisors before. We uh, had to have product to fill the machines with, so that started yeah. us thinking about the importing of food from America. That was the beginnings of it. I guess one of the things that I've always been good at is I can see niches. I didn't have Dr. Pepper here, there was no a &W root beer, no Reese's Buttercups, I'm like, what the heck? So I always had it in the back of my mind, one day I should bring in this stuff, you know? But Lee actually was the one with me saying, let's, let's just get rid of the vending and go a full on, you know, food business. Because we could see the potential, it could be huge. Before we even went into the business, we needed to look at what did we want to achieve? What was important in our lives? And we listed the most important things in our lives because to me, my philosophy is you work to live, you don't live to work. So we started um, in our garage, just a single garage, and here full of lollies. Our kids loved it. We, we just did it. We, you know, progression, progression. Every, along the way. So we didn't have, we didn't go rent a big warehouse like this. No. Little steps. I do a lot of the marketing, but even um, around the, locally here, I've just started getting out and doing some, some sales repping as well. It keeps me uh, in the game. It keeps me sort of focused, and, yeah. and then you don't forget what it's like that America, doing the stuff that you hire people to do. Morning, Lorraine. Hello. Her is quite different. I mean, she oversees the staff, and she's the person that sets up systems and the structure and everything. What makes us work well together is, yeah, understanding each other's different personalities and different strengths. I know that there's things she does I can't do. Going out and selling is, is one thing, but having time to sit yeah. and analyse what is actually happening with your customers is another thing. Profit's important. Numbers never lie, so accounting is crucial to the business and you've got to know how to read your numbers. Yeah. That tells the story about how well your business is doing. It's not just me and Lee behind the scenes, and we get great staff too. My name's Mike, I'm the warehouse manager. Been here for roughly about three years. Organise all the orders that come in and out of here in the mornings. Pick all the orders and wrap them and organise all the freight companies to come pick up the freight and off it goes to various destinations around New Zealand. If you have a good idea, there's always going to, someone that quickly is going to be copying you. And I think with business, you can't ever stop thinking ahead. You've always got to be one step of the market, one step of competition. There's people always watching what we do. The landscape changes so quickly. And you got to be ready to switch gears all the time. We, we, we've changed our business plan, I don't know how many times, 10 times in 10 years. The thing about being in business is you got to be able to solve problems. So you need something to offset importing. You have to have an export arm in your business. We're starting to do some of our own brands. So we've got a, a, a Belgium chocolate. We've also got a, our own brand of water that we're exporting to China. I mean, we want to grow this business. You know, we want to have product all over the world. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, because that's your learning. In our business, we didn't have degrees in business, mm -hmm. um, but we certainly learned a lot. And oh, it's yeah. OK to make those mistakes, as long as you learn from it. We 
work pretty good together most of the times. We're still, we're still married. <laughs> yeah, it's really good working with family. You just treat it as a job and work associates, and um, we don't seem to have any problems. Our girls are involved in this business too. They do work, they, they work in it and, and do things for us all the time. What is it, the saying? Uh, a family that plays together stays together. Hi, Lawrence, how are you? Oh, good, thank you. How's your weekend? Good, good. To me, risk is not taking any risks. There's a lot more risk in that. If you live a life of, of I'm never going to get out of my comfort zone, you're missing out on all your potential. You know, you've got to take risk in life, and you can only think about it so long. You've got to go little steps, just start doing them. You'd be surprised. All you have to do is start doing it, and you will get results. Mm. You know, I mean, we were teachers. You know, we we had jobs. Mm. Now we've got we've got a business you know, that's you know a, it's, it's a pretty decent sized business. Hey Kelly, how you doing? Steve here, International Foods. Make sure that you've got a yes. business mentor. They look after us. They help us keep focused. You can do that. We've had tough times. We've had times where I've just gone, oh my goodness, yeah. I'm going back to teaching. That'll be so much easier, you know. You can learn to be an entrepreneur. It is a, this is a fun business. It's fun. Yeah. Not all the time, but it's fun, you know, most of the time. <laughs>